for today's Tesla Model 3 accessory video, I'm gonna share with you guys a display, a brand new one for my Tesla Model 3. Now, I've had displays since day one, maybe the first week or so, and I've had different kind of displays, but this one is the very best one, of course, being the latest. They always improve, and you drive a lot safer with this display. I'm gonna share with you guys all the features it has. I'm gonna show you how to install it. Check this out. Hit that like and subscribe and let's go. All right guys, so Tesla Model 3. I've had this bad boy since 2022 and I've been making videos for it and I've been sharing all the accessories. And right now, as you can see, it looks decked out. It's got everything from the front lips to the hubcaps to the spoilers. So a new company named Sony Auto came up with a brand new display. It's called S11. 11, I guess, because it's actually 10.88 inches wide. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It has a couple of different ways of mirroring your phone. So if you want to watch videos from the display, then you can. The best part about this display is that it's got a vent. So now it grabs the air from the back and it funnels it through. And now if this thing blows straight to your face, you could turn it left and right. You can move it up and down. Let's look inside the Sony Auto S11 box. It comes with a front facing camera, which I'll show you how to install it in a little bit. It comes with a wedge tool, USB adapter and camera cable, the OBE cable for both Intel and AMD processor. So it's compatible to all Model 3 models. Now here is the S11 display that is 1920 by 535 pixel resolution and 1000 nit brightness. It looks very clean. My favorite feature that the S11 has is it has warning sensors on the left and right. Anytime someone is in your blind side or your left side or the right side, a yellow light will come on. And obviously if you click left to turn left or right, then it's going to turn red to tell you definitely don't turn. Even without you clicking left or right, a yellow light will appear on the display. Just letting you know, it also has a front camera. There's no button to actually activate the front camera. It only comes on when you go from parking to drive mode, because I do have a front lip that brings the car a little lower and it might actually hit that. It's kind of expensive too. Here's how to install the S11. Use the wedge tool to check out the triangle and rectangle sign panel in both left and right side. Pull the plastic panel back just enough to expose the OB cables. Plug in the small power plug and make sure it's daisy chained so the end is also plugged from the Tesla cable. This gives the display the power. Then plug in the bigger OB, but this one doesn't have to be daisy chained. Now use the black tape provided to find the three holes you need to put the three cables into. On the bottom side, screw in the bracket so the display stays in place. Now plug in your display first just to make sure that it works. All right, it's working. Let's install the front camera. Pop out the top panel, pop out this panel below and gently unplug the light. Unscrew all the bolts that's holding the front panel in place. Now pop out this plastic funnel. Now you can take the whole front out of your Tesla Model 3. Slide the camera cable into the small opening between the plastic and the aluminum frame. You could just push it through. Screw in the cable camera to the bracket and just use the double-sided tape to hold it in place. I didn't want to screw the metal part of my Tesla. Now run the wire through and you could strap it down into other cables so the wire doesn't move around too much. Now most people push the wire through a small rubber firewall, but I didn't want to puncture a hole on that rubber. So I just passed it through the side, which had a small opening just enough to pass the wire through. This was a little tricky. So I used a plastic strap to fish the wire through. Now run the wire through the rubber piece and use the masking tape to strap down the wires through the dashboard. Now plug in all three color coordinator wires, put the dashboard with the display back into place and make sure the wire isn't blocking the clips or creating a lump, preventing it from being pushed down. Now put the side panels back in place. So I love how this S11 uses the same font as the Tesla. It's slightly bigger than the screen, but it's very visible since it's directly in front of you very easy to read you got the uh, speed limit 35 miles per hour right over here and of course you got the battery and the mouse both of them together side by side and i like the fact that this has the bar this is the uh, brake regenerative brake meter they had it for the tesla bigger screen but they took it up this allows me to drive in a way where i could try to save more battery and I could have longer distance by just driving less aggressively. I love the design of the car itself. It's such an anime look. I like to have the car pressure at all times because of the fact that we don't have spare tires. I like to make sure that my tire is always inflated properly on the right side of the time, 
the temperature outside, what gear you're in. And just by flipping on the dial, you could change the menu right here. And it's touchscreen too. So you could bring this down, you could turn off the screen. So you could turn on the temperature of your battery. Your battery will charge faster. Bluetooth, you get to open your door, right door. You could open your left door and the rear doors and you can move the seat up and back and you got a setting connected to Wi-Fi and update your firmware, which I did from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You could change whatever model that you're in. There's three different type of displays. U1, okay, right there, U2. And this looks really nice, except that it only has a dark color. It doesn't have a morning light color. It's only dark, but this gauge is really nice. I wish they had a, a light one, then I would keep this one on display most of the time. Get in there and then three, enter. And it looks like that. So that looks nice too. The dark mode looks really cool. All right, guys, so that concludes the video. I got the discount code link below. And if you do buy from me, thank you so very much for your support. Please leave a comment. Just ask anything, just say what's up. That'll help out with my algorithm for sure. And if you got any other questions about any accessories that I have in my Tesla, then just go for it and ask, ask away. I'll answer all your questions. All right, guys, so thank you guys for watching all the way through. And I will see you next time.